So I feel like the two major issues with learning the piano are basically scales are really important, but they're also pretty boring. They're not very musical sounding. Uh, they're not that much fun to play. And hand independence is also really important to piano players, but it's oftentimes more a source of frustration than something you can easily practice or build upon. And I want to tackle that today. I found something that I think is a lot of fun. We'll be in the key of D Dorian. So all the white keys. Don't have to worry about getting fancy. And we're going to use our left hand just going up, playing these three chords. So we've got D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, and then back to E minor 7. And if you're a beginner, you can feel free just to do basic triads. D minor, E minor, F major, they all look the same. But basically, now that we have our left hand doing something, we're gonna take our right hand and play the scale, but it's sort of modified. So right hand thumb, index, middle, go back to thumb, index, middle, go back to thumb, index, middle. Now this is more of an alteration of playing a scale. A lot of times people play a scale in just one octave. But in this case, we're going up to the ninth. And this is kind of my trick because it makes the scale easily put into a musical context. And you're going to see why in a second. After every four notes in the right hand, you'll change chords. It'll look something like this. This could be a great hand independence exercise. But if you're trying to take it a step further and make it even more interesting, I'd like to add just a little bit of syncopation, not a lot. The reason why we get kind of messed up with our hand independence is we're trying to add a lot of syncopation and a lot of details. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one extra hit of that chord. So you'll hit the chord and then hit it short. Hit the chord, hit it short, hit the chord, Hit it nice and short, nice and staccato. So now the right hand, every third note, right after that third note, you'll add that little hit and that will sound like this, nice and slow. When you start to get confident with this and bring it up to speed, it can sound really, really musical and fun. Right? Really jazzy and nice sounding. So we can also take this exercise and switch it in our hands. Is playing the chords that we did before in the left hand, right? I can add that little pump. I just call it a pump. I don't even know why, <laughs> but that's what I'll call it. A little staccato. Really reminds you of classic jazz, right? Um, but just a little extra bit of syncopation makes all the difference in the world. Now we do the same thing with our left hand doing the scale. Now let's try it nice and slow. And what's amazing about it when you switch it is this turns into a walking bass exercise. And when you bring it up to speed, it sounds great too. So I hope you guys found this video useful and interesting to follow along with and take to your own playing. And if you're trying to take something you can do every single day to make yourself a better piano player, I highly, highly recommend you check out the video you see on the screen now. It's a great diatonic approach to practicing the piano.